Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of Oxygen Not Included here in the 100 Duplicant Challenge. In the previous episode we started preparations for a better bathroom setup as well as a couple of ranches. We also expanded our farms and kitchen and finally we're waiting for a couple of skill points here for our researchers in order to continue down the technology tree. Currently I still don't have many starving duplicants, usually within a minute or so they get to eat their food. So far so good but that is only due to the muckroot we're still digging up. I would say it's also time to set up some airflow tiles like right here. Actually, maybe not that many. Maybe we can get away with fewer tiles. Let's do three on either side and then we're going to leave three empty and do another three. Yeah, I kind of like that pattern here for the Great Hall with two additional blocks in the center. Going to have some airflow tiles here on either side and I'm going to do that throughout the center spine. Finally, a setup for the bathrooms as well. And then eventually I'm also going to do it for the bedrooms. Before I forget, I should also dig up a little bit of sulfur. Maybe we're just gonna dig over here and get a good portion of it. We're gonna actually require that for the spindly grub root plants. Oh no, unfortunately we have our first duplicant making a mess. That can happen, but it is not very convenient, I have to say. Maybe we can mop it up before anything really bad happens. Uh, 78, thank you. Okay, that should be good. Uh, let me check the status here. Yeah. Uh, no, actually, it's not that bad yet. We now have fresh oxygen right here in order to be able to work consistently, which is very useful. 79. I think this guy's been starving before. No, at 900 kilocalories. You have all day. I'm already preparing the next research, even though I can only do the basic research and I will still have to wait for the advanced computer. But at least we use our researchers time wisely. I'm now going to close this off, push the water over a little bit so I can keep going down in order to reach the polluted areas at the bottom and start refining them right away. Oh, check this out. It actually happened. We have the first researcher earning a skill point. They usually get their skill points first because they level up quicker. That means I can assign this guy advanced research right away. We're also going to change the cap even though he's not really going to change it because there's no access to the printing pod but he will still be able to use the supercomputer as you can charge from the missing icon. We're gonna keep the research on the water sieve. That just means our water supplies are gonna last longer with the processed polluted water. My second researcher also reached their skill point. Let's go ahead and assign that. And now both of them will be able to use the supercomputer. It also looks like we have a couple of farting duplicants with all the natural gas here. Sometimes this is not good because if we have our gases spreading too thin, then our plants cannot grow. So I think once these have grown again, I will be replacing some of them with airflow tiles as well. I also have the potential of adding another oxygen diffuser here to this cable without overloading it. So we shall do that. Hooray! Research is completed. So now we have access to the water sieve. Next up, I want to make sure we finish the ranching as well. Let's do that right away. We're going to have one water sieve over here and then it will be refilling the laboratories and sinks. It will also move up like so and eventually like so and so. Yes, now the skill points are starting to roll in. This is the first non-researcher with a skill point. It's a supplier. So I guess there's only one logical choice to go into improved carry. I'm also gonna finish the last great hall, even though now we technically have too many mess tables. At this point, I also need access to a rock crusher. We're gonna do that here, even though, let me see, this wire is being used quite a bit. Yeah, we might have to get rid of two micro mushers, but we want to do that either way once we get access to the cooking skill. And since this is gonna happen very soon, I'm already gonna do that. Replace this with a cooking grill. Actually, we should remove three of them and replace them with two cooking grills. And then I should move some of them up here. Yeah, that's better. Because of course, I cannot get rid of the micro mushers. Technically, I need even more. There it is, just in time. Our first cook earned a skill point. This is very important. You're gonna get into grilling right away. Nice. And the second cook follows suit. I'm just now gonna upgrade them according to what they are categorized at. 
most of the generic dupes will get the improved carrying skill. Picking up some more spindly grub fruit here and as soon as we got the ranching skill we should be able to get those sweetles and everything else. It's now time to drain the rest of the water here. I'm probably going to be using that to kickstart my oxygen production and then we can also get the bathrooms going. Finally the ranching research is done. This is going to help us out so much. Not yet but maybe in cycle 40 where we actually failed the previous time we will be glad to have that. I also would like to get into a smart battery setup so we can work with coal generators. There are now many many skill points to give out so I guess I'm gonna take a little break here with recording. Just continue a little bit until something happens. Okay looks like we're actually ready to do our first critter farming. Let's go ahead and set up the critters that we want namely the hatches in here. We're gonna choose the hatchlings as well and for now I don't think we're gonna be using the auto wrangle surplus feature. Let's just make sure that we get as many hatches as possible in here. Where do we actually have them? There's another one here and there are certainly some more. If there are any animals in the base it's probably a hatch. And just when we're talking about it, one of our ranchers got the first skill point here. We have to go through improved farming in order to get to Critter Rancher, but at least we already have one to do the job. We're now also eagerly cooking up the mush bars, so my duplicates only are allowed to eat the fried mush bars instead of the usual ones. It's now also time to pick up a bunch of sweetles right here. I want to drop them within the spindly grub fruit plants. They're going to do their thing and then hopefully evolve and then we're going to bring them all the way up here in order to groom them. And of course every now and then I have to go through my duplicate skills here and assign them accordingly. We got our second decorator here. That's all we're going to need. Even that is probably too many. And a second doctor. That will also be enough. Wonderful. I just finished researching the hydroponic farms just in the nick of time before our bristle blossoms actually grew. That means once they're finished I want to swap them over to the hydroponic farms which we're going to start right here. Let's do that and swap this tile and I think I want to change this up a little so we can accommodate the airflow tiles. Maybe we're going to start with three airflow tiles. Remove this one. Then I'm going to add three hydroponic farms. This will be covered by the lights, the light itself and another three. And then we're going to leave another three tiles empty for the airflow. Uh, What the heck? is going on with this tile and anyway, we're gonna continue with another six seven tiles and then have another three airflow tiles we could then add another one two three four five six seven and three more airflow tiles where do we end up wait a second what is happening here it attempts to build a hydroponic farm and a airflow tile at the same time hold the phone i think i'm ready for a reload the game is uh, way too confused yeah <laughs> I temporarily had to allow the mush bars again because I did not have enough grills so I replaced another one with a grill and now we should be good here. Yeah I was actually able to place everything correctly. We have 3 times 7 that makes for 21 plants and we even have the space for another 7 here eventually. Number 30 I believe is the last guy to actually reach a skill point. I almost cannot believe it already at athletics minus 4. Okay, here's a little update about the progress. We have a couple more hatches in place. I'm also feeding them the sedimentary rock in order to evolve them into stone hatches. This will make it easier to feed them in the future because I can give them things like igneous rock, which we have indefinitely if we find a volcano. Also for the hydroponic farms, they are almost ready. I can directly feed them with this liquid pump. And I think what I would like to do is upgrade the wire here eventually. Right now, I think it's still going to be okay because we don't use all the machines all the time and the science machines aren't in use at the same time either way. I also installed some more pitcher pumps here and we are now almost done. No, we're actually done with the water sieve. That means we can hook this up and already get this started. Yeah, let's just connect the first bathroom here and then we're going to hook up the wire right there. And what this should do is just uh, slowly... Yeah, that's going to be fine. We have a higher potential load, but it's not really going to be using that much. And I think think with that out of the way we can already disconnect it like so and then it should be just filling up the bathrooms. It's gonna go through here through the water sieve and then it's gonna distribute amongst the two that we have already built. Ooh, I guess we should continue right here. Now let me change that to hydroponic farms as well because we're gonna have our reed fiber here. So there's gonna be some hydroponic farms on each layer and then we're gonna wrap the room up 
as such. And on the other side, of course, we're already feeding that into the system. So one is going to go over here to this hydroponic farm and the other ones are going to be fed as well. And we just have to wait a little longer. We're already at 95% and afterwards we can start with the harvest. There goes the water through the water sieve. Everything is going down at the moment because up there is nothing, but it's then going to fill up all of these guys. So they're now ready. As a quick research, I want to do the deodorizer. So once we get access to the polluted water, we can use that for oxygen production and actually make it clean to avoid the yucky lungs debuff. All right, looks like we just received our first eggshells and bristle berries. I already disallowed the bristle berries inside the consumables, so we just have to add them here to the recipe list. Then this guy is what I harvested, so I want to deconstruct it and replace it with a hydroponic farm. And I'm going to be doing that with each plant that grows and has been harvested. And as a matter of fact, I'm also going to follow the pattern that I have here with three airflow tiles and then seven plants. That means I will have to move my lights over slightly. In order to avoid a mistake from the previous attempt where the duplicants would be dropping their food on the ladder, I'm now going to make a stopper block here and I'm going to be doing that on the other side as well. And then we just go down here with this ladder point. In order to take care of the polluted water from the toilets, we'll have to get some thimble reed, which I can find here. This is also going to be the beginning of our dusk cap farming. So I made some preparations for a duplicant to get over there, and we should be finding some more. Like down here in the slime bombs, there's another one here that I will be able to reach quite soon. As a matter of fact, let's make our way down and then make our way down here, get some more mushrooms and everything. And you know what? Maybe just for the giggles, I'm going to leave these plants in and make it a nature reserve or something. We'll see. As I'm harvesting all the bristle blossoms, it is very quiet. Nobody is starving at all right now, which is understandable. And then in about one and a half cycles, the meal lice are going to be ready again. And of course, I had to say that as somebody started to starve. But you get the basic gist. I'm now progressing downwards and I also installed the fire pole. So my duplicants can now go down at least very quickly, even if they lack the athletic skill. Currently, we still have 128 tons of dirt. So the water is sooner going to be a problem, especially once we probably build the oxygen system in the next episode. I would like to get this out of the way so my duplicants can move around more freely. And in preparation for that, maybe we can already set up a bunch of pipes. We're going to go with granite. And I think what I want to see is a split off from the oxygen system all the way over here. And then we're going to make our way up the base. Actually, since I built the fire poles on this side, let me go up this way and this way. I'm still replacing the farms and planting the new seeds. Actually, this one here I need to remove again because that needs to be an airflow tile. Alrighty, I skipped about two cycles in order to progress as normally replacing the tiles, replacing the bathrooms. I also added more beds and I processed a whole bunch of copper ore to refine copper. I also made some progress in the tech tree, such as the conductive wires. We also got access to the insulated tiles. I researched the liquid reservoir and a couple of other things. We now have three rows of bathrooms. We just need to wait for them to fill themselves up until we replace the last row here and also save a little bit on dirt. I expanded my farm tiles, especially also the meal lice. I just added another seven and then went with the pattern here with the airflow tiles so everything can be pressured. Well, except for this one. But then we also already have a whole bunch of bristle blossoms. I didn't get any starving duplicants for at least half a cycle or so, which is pretty good in my books. Finally, I planted all the mushrooms I already came across. We also dug our way down here in order to start collecting some of the polluted water. And in this regard, I also collected slime, which I'm now collecting in these two storage bits. If I have a look at my Sweetles, currently we have a 15% chance of them getting a Grub Grub egg. This guy here is already at 22%, not too shabby. And we also have a couple of critters in here. Let me actually check. This one here has seven critters. I believe eight will be the maximum for them not to feel cramped. And then we just introduce a second ranch. As a matter of fact, we should already be able to prepare it. It's going to have the same basic setup. In the next episode, I would suggest we get started with the oxygen production system here at the bottom that is going to supply most of the base. I'm not going to go all out just yet. I intentionally try to preserve a little bit of the oxygen and our resources. 
because the system can be cheesed in a way that they don't need as much oxygen as they actually need. However, as the base is expanding, it's going to get more and more in our way. And of course, we want to make this as smooth as possible. Very soon, I'm also going to breach through to the Somnium Synthesizer to get this process already started. We already know that it is taking a while. So yeah, these are going to be the immediate next goals, apart from maybe also setting up the first ranches for Dracos. Right here, we have one example. But with that out of the way, let's wrap it up for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Have a great time and see you soon. Bye-bye.